Uh, there's no smoking in here. So, a wealthy man who's made some unfortunate decisions. Let's start with a question of whether or not you want my help. Isn't that why you're here? To fix me? Something like that. But I can't do the fixing. I only can provide the tools you need. In the end, it's you who's going to have to do the heavy lifting. Sounds fun. Oh, it's not going to be fun, Mr. Bertram. The road to recovery is hard and long. But we've got to focus on the end result. That's where you'll find your reward. Why were you sent here? Opioids and alcohol. Not the greatest combination. When did you last use? A month ago. No, that's when you were caught. I asked when you last used. What, so you can tell everybody in your office about what I do? Oh, no. No, by contract, I can't reveal anything we say here. Unless we were to go to court. That said, uh, the whole point of these sessions is to keep you from going back to court. So what do you use? You know, what's the point of your job, doctor? Well, I became a doctor to provide assistance to those who want it. No, it's not. I know how this world works, doctor. Everything we do, driving, eating, Living, it always has to do with a gain in mind. There's no purpose behind it. All for the fucking green paper. You know, I grew up around it. And I live with it. It's what I do. You know, what's the point of doing anything? What difference does it really make? Lack of purpose. That's understandable. Are you afraid of taking risks? Taking risks? That's not my problem. My problem is that everybody thinks that they know me. Everyone said that therapy would fix me. But it, it's no different here. Even you think you know everything about me. Has anyone ever been right about you? Does it really matter? It's like I could just flip a switch and bang. I fit nicely in your neat little world. I'm not saying it's as easy as flipping a switch. But you have to start somewhere. Consider that for a moment. Consider that not all of us want to get better. Some of us just want to get high and die. That's it. No worrying, no pain, just pure ecstasy until the day we die. You know, I've got money and I've got drugs. What more could I possibly want? Is that what you want to be known for? No, I don't give a fuck about what people think of me. What about everyone else? What about those around you, your friends and family? I don't have anybody else. It doesn't have to be someone you know. What about other people on the same planet you share? You know, what the fuck can I do about it? I'm just one person, one man. Exactly. You're a person. Someone with dreams and passions and a place in this world. You don't have to be poor or rich to know who you are, what you can do for the world what you can do for yourself. All right then, doctor. If you think I can just dream this shit away, let me know where I can start. It starts with you, Joshua. Nope. It's not that easy, doc. It's never that easy. You're right. It's not. But I can't read your mind. Like you. I'm only a person. Yeah, that's my point. You know, I don't think this shit's right for me, this therapy thing. It's like you want to fix me up and I don't even want it. Mr. Bertram? Not everybody wants help. Some need it. Do you think in time you'll want help? I have no idea. But I guess that's the point of addiction. Right, Doc? Uncertainty? I hope to see you soon, Mr. Bertram. Yeah, right.